What is the crack, lads, and welcome back to another video in this series where we take a look at legends or epic players and we give you a GP alternative. So we're going to talk through Maldini. This has been one of my most requested videos and I've done a lot of research on this. Maldini is a very hard legend to replicate or to get somebody to compare with him because he's got such a unique blend of stats. So we're going to take a look at Maldini and his stats over on eFootballDB in just a couple of minutes and then we'll have the alternatives. But first I want to show you guys a couple of clips and then we'll head over to eFootballDB and look at the kind of you know on the pitch action first and then off the pitch action. So Maldini if you have him I think he's probably my best center half at the moment. I play him in a back five in the middle and he's just a beast man. He's got so many good player skills. He's so comfortable on the ball as you're seeing here. He never really panics. I always feel like I'm able to kind of have tight control with him. And somebody like Van Dyke, right, which we'll get to in this video as well. I feel Van Dyke is a really good player, but he makes a lot of mistakes for me. He does a lot of things that I'm like, what are you doing? I didn't press that or I didn't do this. Um, whereas Maldini, like, look, you have two players around him here. He's just so comfortable either foot. And he's just able to like bring the play in and give you an option all the time. So he is a very unique kind of center half. If you are looking for somebody to build at the back, there are players there. But the players that have that passing ability and stuff like that, they don't really have the defensive side of it. And the guys that do have the defensive side of it don't have the header or aerial ability, as you're seeing here with Maldini. So he kind of ticks a lot of boxes. Now, we will get one or two alternatives that I think are very interesting, but he is a hard legend to compare against. But as I said, a lot of people were asking me about him. You'll just see here clip after clip where not only does he win the first ball or the second ball, he's also super comfortable if the ball breaks down or there's an interception or a you know a misplaced pass all right let's we're over on eFootballDB.com now the lads from eFootballDB have asked me for some feedback on this player profile um and if you guys obviously like the new layout so you've obviously got the training points you've got your car which you can flip by clicking on it and then you've got your three categories of attack defense and strength and then your team play style and characteristics down here as well as your position and then other versions if you just hover over the player it'll change the other version so the player skills are still being worked on they have to be sorted out into player ai uh, playing styles they are changing a little bit and the player skills but we are focusing on maldini today over on eFootball db um and as you can see this is the maldini that we have 94 overall he's got 10 progression point or 10 player levels to go um and yeah, I mean, he looks, he is a beastly card, lads. He is a beastly card. He's one of my favorite players. I think since the last update, he's actually gotten even better, right? He's gotten to be one of my most important center halves. Um, and I think that's due to the fact that he does have blocker as a player skill interception as a player skill and also man marking if you want to have him as kind of like a man marking player but he's also got sliding tackle and weighted pass and fighting spirit which is really really decent as well um so there's a lot to like about him and he's got aerial superiority as well even though he's not the tallest i mean he's kind of average for a center half in this but you're not gonna as with these like legends lads right as you saw in a couple of clips there the thing with the legends is right is that they excel in multiple areas whereas you'll see with the two alternative players that i'm going to get you kind of have to pick your poison with what you're getting and you are going to have to spend a little bit more than normal in this series to get an alternative for maldini because you look at his stats there right yeah you've got the defensive awareness tackling aggression and engagement like all of them they're pretty decent stats like they're in the 90s aggression is obviously 82 but he's also got speed and acceleration and stamina. And then on top of that, he's got 77 and 76 for passing as well as 80 heading. And couple that with the player skills and the fact that he's always on B form. And the fact that he is always on um, the tree unwavering form there as well. And B player update uh, because all the legends are on that. Like you were getting a player that can be, you know, absolutely dominant across the back line. Depending on whether you're playing a three at the back, a four at the back or a five at the back. I think Maldini excels as a five at the back kind of like linchpin where you're able to bring other players into the game he's got all the defensive capabilities that you need all the player skills that you need but he's also able to bring the ball out with speed and with passing so for this we have got two players that i'm going to recommend to you guys first up is a man that needs no introduction barrios he's down as a dmf but i think he's equally if not better he's as good dmf uh or center back as a dmf right obviously he's got three form a wavering form we have leveled him up here. He's got one progression point left. We can throw that into heading if we want. But this is what I'm talking about with picking your poison, lads. You have to decide what type of player that you want to have, right? So you will notice here there's a couple of discrepancies here 
with Barrios. Firstly, he does only have 62 low pass and 64 lofted pass. His heading and his height are going to be a concern. If you've seen a couple of the clips in this video already with Maldini just lording over Haaland and being able to play out from the back, as a playmaker from the back, it is going to be an issue. I mean, Barrios is more of a stopper, I would say, um, than an actual defender. Like, he's more of a stopper of just getting the ball, blocking everything. Now, he does have all the player skills the same as Maldini and a couple of more as well, such as double touch. Um, but everything else is kind of like the same on, on, on par with Maldini. His speed and acceleration are pretty identical as well. His balance stamina is even better, so he'll be able to continue to get up and down the pitch if you are playing five at the back, I would recommend Barrios on the left side or the right side and then a taller center back uh, because he's not tall enough at 178. But his defensive awareness, tackling aggression and engagement are really, really strong as well. Um, he is only, what, 51,000 GP? I definitely think he's worth it uh, at that. He goes to a 91 overall and he can play right back as well if... Uh, if I, I think, yeah, I think he can play right back if that position uh, shows you there. Yeah, he can play 88 overall right back, 91 CB. So he is a monster man at the backs and he is more of a defensive minded player. Uh, next up, we have got Manolis. Now, Manolis was actually one of the best players in PES 2020. He was an absolute monster. Him and Koulibaly were probably the best around back in the day, right? So again, you're giving up a lot with this card. As you see here, we just max out his speed at 77. You are giving up a lot with this card. He is taller than Maldini. He's only 34,000 GP. He's got all the player skills the same as Maldini and Barrios, who we just seen. He's better in the air. He's got better height than Barrios. He's got equally as good tackling, aggression, and defensive engagement, but you are given a bit with defensive awareness, which is a very important stat, as well as speed and acceleration. It's not as high as Barrios, and it's not as high as Maldini, right? So you are kind of picking your poison there. Do you want more of a strong kind of in-the-air dominant defender, such as Manolas, who's got the height on Barrios, and he's got the heading ability on Barrios by nine? So it levels up with Maldini and he's taller than Maldini and he's also got a load of the, the heading ability, the sliding tackle, interception and blocker. Or do you want Barrios who's more kind of like, you know, playing the ball like Maldini but not as tall as Maldini. So you do kind of have to pick your poison there. And then we've got our third option which is Kunde. So Kunde is the same height as Barrios. Again, he suffers from the same issue as Barrios is that he's a bit, he's a bit smaller. But he does have the speed, acceleration and defensive stats that you could want for a uh, centre back to put him in line with Maldini. You're not going to get the finished article unless you go for somebody like Van Dyke. I mean, if you go for Van Dyke, you are going to give away a little bit on the, the pace with the speed and the acceleration, lads, definitely. But defensively, you're going to have insane stats. Apart from the aggression, you're going to be very, very strong in the air. You're going to be fairly fast there. And you're going to be able to um, have all those player stats as well. You are giving away a lot with speed, but you are going to be very good in the air. So there's even if you're going to be ending up paying, what, like 490,000 GP for Van Dijk or um, 34,000 for Manolis, you're still going to be having discrepancies in the card that nobody really compares to Maldini because he is a legend. He is going to have a unique blend of stats, which, I mean, look, you are buying these cards that are premium cards. They are going to be the best around, but... I think a mix of these. I think if you buy Kunde, Kunde is probably the most, he reminds me most of Maldini. Haven't played with Kunde quite a, a bit and speak and speaking to a lot of people about him. Defensively, he plays like him. Just that aerial ability is something that you need to keep an eye on. So that is it, lads. Three options. Van Dijk really isn't an option because he doesn't feature on this series as a, as a budget player. He's too much at half a milli. Um, but yeah, for Maldini, I would say Barrios is probably the best kind of like halfway point Manolis if you want more aerial ability and more aerial defense and strength and Kunde if you have a bit more budget he is pushing the budget up to 170,000 GP but I definitely think he is worth it I think Kunde is probably one of the best right backs in the game because if you are training him as a right back obviously this is a separate point but you don't need that defensive stat to be as high and you can just focus on the speed a little bit and you can focus on his dribbling a little bit which is quite decent as well you've still got a very very good defender but defensively and attacking wise he's going to be a lot more solid so yeah there are my two options my three options for that i would probably if i had gun to my head i would probably pick barrios for everything bang for your buck and player skills and the stats and every position that you could possibly play with him but yeah that is it for another alternative to maldini and we will talk to you later let's don't forget to subscribe peace